Tim. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Doing well. Good. Tony, I wanted to ask you uh, about your approach to the role with the club in terms of pitching a big league game, then being optioned back to the alternate site, knowing you're going to come back at some point. You know, the back and forth of it and the preparation, how do you approach your overall role right now? Uh, you know, I just try to be as ready as I can be, uh, you know, with all the scouting and all that stuff to give us ample time to know who we're pitching against and all that. Um, so I get to do all my scouting stuff with plenty of time. Uh, and then in terms of just like going back and forth, it's just, you know, it's, it's just another game, uh, whether it's at USC against our guys or, or you know, against the Mariners or the Diamondbacks or the Padres or you know, Yankees. It's all the same game to me. So I just got to go out there and do what I can do. And the travel's been a little bit different for you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, you know, I got my two starts at home, which are the easiest ones. It's, let's stay there. That's nice. But, uh, yeah, the one in Arizona I had to drive, um, quick drive. And then, uh, you know, coming out here, it's a little different. Well, when you pitched in the game on Monday, you know, how different was that pitching in the alternate site game? I guess that's what we'll call it. But And uh, how do you think, you know, that kept you on track for your start tomorrow? Yeah, I think, I mean, I would have pitched regardless on Monday, uh, you know, wherever it would have been. Um, but, yeah, it just allows me to get my work in. You know, I threw like 90-something pitches. So I'm staying built up as a starter, which is nice. And, uh, you know, a lot to work on my pitches, you know, throwing everything for strikes and, you know, results or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I always tried to – it was a little bit nice to throw in Dodger Stadium. I had a little bit more, uh, like, competitive edge behind it. Well, you talk about working on your pitches, your splitter – has really developed into something, uh, you know, when did you feel like you had a good splitter and, you know, seeing how it would develop into being a weapon for you? And how did you get to that point with that pitch? Uh, I kind of started working on that in like 2017 with uh, Joel Peralta and Brandon Gomes. They kind of were like tag teamed it. Gomi kind of pushed me off to Peralta and then Peralta kind of showed me the ropes behind it. And then 17, it really was not very good. I'd say 18 is a little better. Got good results with it. 19, it was just, it took a little step backwards. And then this year, really been putting a lot of work in spring training and then during the quarantine time to uh, really kind of hone in on how I wanted to move and the grip and the, like what the emphasis is behind it. And you mentioned scouting too. You knew you were going to face the Rangers tomorrow. Uh, as you've prepped for tomorrow and done the scouting, uh, how do you think you need to navigate the Rangers lineup? Yeah, I think just throwing a lot of strikes, you know, getting these, getting some early outs to be um, very helpful. Uh, so we'll see kind of what their approach is against me and then uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Tony, you mentioned the uh, travel was different. How did you get to Texas? Uh, took a flight. I mean, commercial, commercial flight? No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I was able to fly with the team um, out here. So it definitely was a little safer cor or, uh, corona wise. So I'm fortunate for that. But uh, yeah. With the, uh, the splitter, there are some teams that uh, discourage their young pitchers from throwing those because they believe it can lead to arm injuries. Have you ever, ever had that discussion with anyone in the organization? Uh, I've never had that discussion, honestly. Have you pay have read anything like that? No uh, concerns? I heard about that a little bit in college, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like we do enough arm care stuff and, you know, with our lifting and our, uh, our strength and our medical staff, so I think we're putting in a good program to, you know, get ahead of that. Thanks. Next question is from Ken Gurnick. Go ahead, Ken. Tony, uh, the difference between your uh, fastball and the splitter, it looks like your splitter is a little bit slower than last year and your fastball is faster. Is, is that by design? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely trying to throw fastball as hard as I can. Uh, you know, any any velo above what it was last year is great. Uh, the splitter, I think, is just a byproduct of the grip coming together and, uh, you know, how it's just how it just worked this year and the kind of the adjustments that we've made with it. Is there an explanation for the added fastball velocity? I wouldn't say there's an explanation for it. Just kind of feeling more comfortable and doing a lot of delivery work in spring training. <clears throat> doing a lot of delivery work in spring training and just kind of overall feeling better. 
Next question is from Kerry Osborne. Go ahead, Kerry. Tony, that four-seamer has been really outstanding. I'm just curious how that pitch has evolved. Uh, what was it like at St. Mary's, and what have the Dodgers done to help really develop that pitch? The four-seamer? Yeah. Um, well, in college, I thought I threw sinkers. So we found out quickly in 2016 that that was not the case. Uh, so then just kind of switched up to a four-seam grip and um, just, you know, kind of got more comfortable with trying to, like, pitch at the top of the zone or just use it more effectively. You know, it just seems like when you're out there, there just seems like this good comfort level that you have on a major league mound. Can you describe your comfort level now compared to, you know, uh, last year? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's way more comfortable. You know, the team, uh, they've gotten to know me a little bit. So just the comfortability around all of them and the openness of, like, who I am as a person. Outside of baseball is a lot better, I would say. Um, which just adds to the on field comfortability and trust that everyone's kind of gotten to know me and all that stuff. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Next question is from Jack Harris. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Tony, uh, going back to that splitter, um, when you added that, what was the, uh, what was the reason that Joe and Brandon liked that pitch for you uh, in particular? Uh, I was in like a change up camp in 2016 just to try to figure something out with it. And, um, you know, that was a traditional change up in 16 and then 17. Peralta came around and we kind of just said, hey, why don't we just give this a shot? You know, we're trying to add a little bit more movement since I don't really slow it down that much, although it's slower this year, which is great. But, uh, yeah, the, there wasn't really necessarily, necessarily a driving force behind it. It was more of just like, hey, why don't you give this a shot since we're still kind of searching for it. Just kind of big picture, how, how differently um, do you think about pitching and, and, and mechanics and just sort of like your, your stuff now than you did um, when you were a guy coming out of college or, or early in your pro career? How much has that, that side of your game developed? Uh, it's developed a lot, I would say. I mean, in college I hit and pitched, but primarily I was a hitter. So I like focus a lot more like hitting mechanics more so than pitching. I kind of just – when I went into pitch, it was just like an outfielder coming into pitch, essentially. I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. I just tried to go out there and throw a lot of strikes with, you know, whatever the pitch was, whatever the pitch was. And then, um, I mean, how well have those those alternate site games uh, been able to, uh, you know, to just keep you in rhythm? Like, how, how competitive are those? How close do they feel to, uh, you know, to, to a normal game? I mean, nothing really compares to a normal game. Uh, you know, with the, I mean, the cardboard cutouts, I guess, are the biggest difference this year. But uh, traditionally, you know, with the fans, so nothing really can compare. But uh, yeah, I mean, there, definitely, there's just an added, like, bragging rights that we put onto each other. Like, I know when I faced Gavin in the at USC, there's little bragging rights behind it. And on Monday, he got me twice, but then I got him. So, I mean, it kind of evened out. I feel like, but uh, yeah, just trying to have a lot of fun with it and stay sharp.